Hey guys, Kevin Cage back with another daily cryptocurrency update. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe if you like what you see and let's get right into the information today. One take and uncut. I'm going to kick things off by giving this gentleman a huge shout out. Mr. B XRP. You can find him on Twitter at XRP Mr. He did start a YouTube channel and again you can search that by just typing in Mr. B XRP. Had a really cool video and it's different than most of the other channels and I, I respect all the XRP channels and I really do try to keep up and watch them all on 2x speed just to keep up the date. Get their opinions on certain things and just try to entertain different ideas and keep up to date with all the news mediums as well. So one analogy I like, and I know Ripple said this and he was kind of using this as well, and I really like it, is this. So basically the entire XRP ledger referring to on-demand liquidity, ODL, as you can see here in this tweet, is this analogy. So we have the payment corridors, the currency pairs, whether it is, you know, the euro with the INR or the USD with the Thai bot or, you know, the Mexican peso with the US dollar, the euro with the Mexican, you know, and even with the Chinese markets as well. Whatever we end up diving into, the, these are the corridors. And we can say this is analogous to the highways, the payment highways. So just imagine a map of roads, and this is the payment architecture. Now, we have payments that go to and from on these highways, right? These are the cars. And what is the car powered by? I know these cars are carrying the value, they're carrying the payment, and XRP is the fuel for these cars and payments. XRP is the ideal settlement mechanism. Regardless, even with R3, with Trade Finance utilizing the Quota Settler, if they use XRP as the settlement mechanism, or anything that runs on the XRP ledger for that matter, even if they're sending IOUs or any other thing on the XRP ledger, because with IOP we can utilize and send anything with atomic swap technology, it will still burn XRP. Now, granted, the burn rate is not a big deal. I really, really like this analogy. So XRP is the primary settlement mechanism. Let's just focus on on-demand liquidity before I get too carried away and too excited about the future and what this could mean and all these future implications of the XRP value. Let's just focus on on-demand liquidity. So highways are the payment corridors. We're ramping up. MoneyGram has, you know, what, 22,000 corridors. The payments going to and from the cars and then what's powering these payments xrp all right obviously the fastest most scalable most secure with the best consensus algorithm and literally the first blockchain of its kind to go outside of the proof of work consensus algorithm this is truly innovative and it's been around for years simply a matter of time it has survived it's already made it through those tough times i know that price is at you know an all-time low for the past few years but same concept with amazon it was down for what i'll have to double check but it was at least a few years maybe a couple years to be conservative let's just say a year and a half to two and a half years where it was down before finally booming all right so keep that in mind it might not be the same exact thing xrp could you know i personally expect xrp to perform out outperform any stock market this is a new asset class guys this is more than a digital asset this could potentially be the lifeblood of the financial system and if not the entire part of the system even if we get a fraction of any market for that matter this would be huge we are so nascent whether it is truly only for global remittance it's going to be valued significantly more than it is now i'm not going to give you figures because there's no way to actually know but just, I'm just letting you guys know, I'm not wasting my time with stocks. Sure, you can hold some precious metals and hold your bet, but why would you waste that with something that could potentially 1,000x, if not more, in the future? So all I have to do is hold dollar cost average accumulate. Believe it or not, I actually was talking a little bit with Sid Vicious, and I was just playing with the resistance. I'm not the best trader, but I do know some really good traders, and I did execute a cool little swing trade last night before the drop when I shorted and improved my position. Uh, another $600 US dollar. I mean, that's what it's valued at today. So hey, that that potentially, if I put that in XRP, is a couple thousand XRP right now. So just keep in mind, guys, I'm just trying to make money with a small bag while I'm trading and then continuing the dollar cost average along the way. Next, XRP Crypto Wolf. So I know we talked about NetSense a while ago, and now they've officially finally just went live with XRP on their merchant gateway. And again, NetSense HQ allows you to accept XRP for your business. So another option as well, just expanding the use case. It might not be completely massive, but this is what we need. We need to have these plugins ready to go for easy access. 
Next, XRP Crypto Wolf again. So France's central bank now, another central bank, obviously working with Ripple, no surprise, will launch digital euro currency experiments in 2020. And the French central bank governor said, we intend to start experimenting quickly and launch a call for projects for private sector players only by end of quarter one. Now, keep in mind, Ripple is a permission blockchain. They utilize that. Obviously, the private sector would prefer that. And there's different ways to mitigate and hide transactions as well or just send batch payments because, again, even with on-demand liquidity, we do not know who's sending the payments. They do not owe us to need to tell everyday retail investors what it is. And really, it's just hidden behind the exchange address, just like BitSell. So, all right, keep that in mind, guys. These banks, these FIs will still maintain anonymity and privacy for these purposes. And truly, it is really the best option. They're not going to mess with Bitcoin or any other thing that is susceptible to a quantum computing attack and, you know, being hacked and changing the blocks. <clears throat> Granted, that threat could still be five to 10 years away. If they're looking to the future, they obviously want to prepare. Next, XRP Crypto Wolf again sending some great information. Global custodian bank State Street cut over 100 blockchain jobs as part of a pivot from transforming its plumbing. And again, that is exactly what this infrastructure is. Just think of the highways, the payment highways, the plumbing, the infrastructure that XRP will run within or any other you know, cryptocurrency for that matter with distributed ledger technology to instead supporting digital assets. They're more focused on cryptocurrency digital assets, i.e. stable coins, custody, and USC, which is utility settlement coins. So guys, if you realize, I mean, there's been talk about these central bank digital currencies, these digital assets in within central banks, interbank settlement for at least three years. Keep in mind, XRP has been working to do this since 2012. Hmm. I wonder who has the biggest head start. There's no competition for XRP in terms of the performance of the asset. It's never been hacked. It is literally the most superior asset to date. And the hardest thing to do is develop liquidity. And since it's already developed organic liquidity for seven years, we are ahead of everything. We have billionaires. We have huge people invested into this and seeing the success of this and already at least doing all kinds of advising with the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. And yes, actually recorded to meet with the Trump administration. This is not you know, fiction. This is all fact. And obviously, we're only speculating what this could mean for the future value. But when it does, the longer we stay at these lows, I'm just getting more bullish. I am actually seeing maybe some big price jumps in the future, or it could just have a very high value. Time will tell. All right, right here, Bank XRP just releasing this video, and this was released by Finextra. First transactions execu executed on a new blockchain-based securities protocol. And so this is HQLAX. And right here, securities, tokens, security tokens, excuse me. And of course, we know how big the security industry is. We know Coinbase and Ripple invested into this $10 trillion market. MVP using Corda R3. We know Corda is connected to XRP, of course. And we know R3, the banking consortium, owns a good amount of XRP as well. No surprise there. Now, I'm not saying that this is directly XRP, but whether XRP plays a role in this or not, it's still showing us that we're moving towards a digital economy. And that is what I'm saying. Trends are your friends. And I want to invest in this before the big money gets there. That's what you do. You don't try to follow the money. You have to get there before the big money. You have to foresee it and take the risk. Granted, there's risks with everything. So showing us we're moving towards a digital tokenized economy, no surprise, everything will be tokenized, whether it's commodities, properties, intellectual property, you name it. Now, they have actually built their own liquidity regardless with XRP, and we know they have this huge head start. We're on a bunch of exchanges, easy access. Now, this HQLA, this is high quality liquid assets, or this now they have this actual product. And so this is actually addressing a market per this video, which I cannot play due to copyright purposes, but you can go check it out. And I'm sure Bank XRP may you know, show everything. But this is why I have a Twitter, literally keep up with XRP information and good threads rather than going to 50 websites. But this is addressing a market of 10 trillion euros right now. Obviously, high quality liquid assets are necessary today. And this HQLAX is a new collateral liquidity and lending solution to redistribute security settlement infrastructure, get rid of all these bottlenecks and systemic risks that we have today, utilizing the Corda blockchain with atomic delivery. Now, these are real time transfers with third party custodians, guys. So we need compliance. We need obviously custody and regulation so we know that they can secure hold these assets and then it's game time for the big players to lower the drawbridge and let the money flood in so i just wanted to emphasize that 
All right, we're going to finish off with this thread. So again, source right here. These are the Reddit threads back in the day. Joe Katz, a.k.a. David Schwartz, CTO of Ripple, one of the original architects of the XRP ledger, goes here. I mean, guys, if you are new to the XRP community and you want to read and understand the technicals and the you know speculation from years ago, this is not a waste of time. I highly recommend it. And yes, speculation is necessary. Obviously, I don't want you to say, oh, it's going to go to this value or this and just you know invest and take loans out. No, that's not what I'm saying. But it's not a bad idea to hedge your bet and invest some into XRP. Now, again, this is not financial advice. I am not a licensed financial advisor. This is one man's opinion, and I am just showing you my thoughts on the matter. All right, so right here, and this is shared by Michael McDaniel. So here we go. Let's check this out. You know, I'm just going to read it like this. So you can read it. All right, I'm going to read this verbatim. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Here we go. Because banks like certainty, if they're worried about something happening to XRP, all they have to do is get Ripple to contractually agree to some terms they like and they have protected themselves from 60% of the market. What other asset can they do that with? So see guys, there's a method to the madness, especially with the amount that Ripple holds to grow and foster strength in this ecosystem to ensure a high appreciating value of XRP. Now right here. Do you think they're worried about the or do you think they're worried the price will go down? No problem. Say a bank holds $10 million worth of XRP and Ripple thinks the value of that XRP will go up, but the bank is worried it will go down. Ripple can just offer the bank a deal where Ripple gives them XRP to bring them back up to that $10 million amount. If the price drops and in exchange, the bank gives XRP to Ripple to bring the value down to 10 million if the price goes up. This is a win for Ripple and it eliminates the bank's risk. Why wouldn't banks use only the Ripple protocol and came up and came up with other solutions to transfer the assets? Because there's no other solution on the horizon that can compete. I've listed many possibilities elsewhere and explained why XRP is superior. The short version is this. It's expensive. Banks could do this at their own expense today, but they don't. Only Ripple is positioned to use the proceeds from the appreciation of value of an asset to finance the effort. Imagine if $50 million were needed to build sufficient liquidity to bridge payments to raise the demand for XRP to increase its value by one half of a penny over the long term. Ripple could justify the expense by the value of the increase in the value of the XRP it holds. Nobody else today or on the horizon could make such a revenue model work. Now, some people say this is scammy. I think this is one of the best revenue models that I've ever seen. Like there truly is, and I say this all the time, a method to the madness. It's completely genius. Now, again, you guys say, I, I get all these funny comments and people just literally waste their time to watch XRP videos, comment something negative and then leave and they don't even watch the video. Like, honestly, please do something more constructive with your time. I'm trying to share this information and I want to help as many people as possible. I, you know, I don't ask for tips. I literally put these videos up. Yes, there's some ad revenue, but guys, you're, you're watching this for free. Nobody's paying me to put this content up. So again, I'm taking my valuable time to do this. Now, if a country, you know, a country can't compete, Swift obviously doesn't have the funds. They have a partner for correspondent networking, and it would take years to do this, and it would take millions, if not billions of dollars to do this. And it's really hard to get all the regulatory bodies to work together to create a replacement or even something that would be superior to compete with XRP. XRP has this advantage. If a company or not a company, I guess, because that's Ripple, and there's no other company that can do it at this point and move as quickly and make the relationships and progress that Ripple has. So let's say if a country did this, they create an asset, say, oh, this is going to get rid of XRP and be the global settlement bridge asset. Okay, well, what country is that going to be? Is it going to be China? Well, then the U.S. won't want to deal with them. Is it going to be the U.S.? Well, then the Chinese will not want to deal with the U.S. currency because they'll still have that advantage. All right? Now, let's just say it's a bank. All right, JP Morgan creates their JPM coin. They want all banks, everybody to use it on their interbank network and transfers. All right, well, what about other banks? Will Bank of America or any other bank that's not directly affiliated with them be jealous? Why would they want to do that and help JP Morgan's pockets? There, you know, there's always going to be nepotism, like favoritism between banks, and there's not going to be trust. You still would have to trust somebody. And with XRP, as it's becoming more and more decentralized with the validators on a daily basis, it is making this a no brainer. Now, it's a marathon, not a sprint, but don't be surprised if we saw things ramping up very quickly when they do, whether that's end of year or in the first quarter of 2020. It is simply a matter of time. Obviously, I, you know, I, 
prepare for the worst and hope for the best, but I've never been more confident. I am holding XRP, whether it goes down to these low prices that people are saying, I'm going to add to my pockets. I'm not going to be trying to swing trade my main holdings. It's just not worth the risk, especially when these algorithms, these trading bots are far too risky. I've been working so hard to accumulate what I have the past few years. I'm not willing to let it go. And I absolutely do not want to hold too much fiat at this time, especially with so much uncertainty regarding negative interest rates on the way and the stock market being artificially inflated to all time high. So with those factors, I am looking to hedge my bet bet in cryptocurrencies, digital assets, owning part of the IP protocol, along with even precious metals, things that are undervalued in my eyes, and then looking to use those profits to do something to create passive income as well, whether that is dividends, whether it's property, intellectual property, funding companies, you name it. So again, guys, hope you appreciated this rant. Let me know if there's anything you agree or disagree with and what you want to see in the next video. And until next time, thanks.